good day to all of you dear students for a long time i'm uh, creating a new video for the gce or igcsc edexcel syllabus ordinary level students for their paper 2 uh, for which they will be sitting this year okay so we will be discussing on the practical papers and in these practical papers we will be discussing the new uh, any tactics any new methods that we can use to finish up your paper as soon as possible okay then we'll move on to this today we'll be discussing the 2016 may june paper in that we shall look at the database question today we will be discussing about the database question of the 2016 paper uh, i will be uploading the videos on database questions and spreadsheet questions separately so in this paper if you look at this paper yes we will be using the database question in activity 2 in activity 2 and the file that we will be using is thr 2000 okay and this is for 26 marks and you look at the question we'll have a look at the question first yes having the questions here it says using the database software and the suggested time is 45 minutes so we should be finishing this question within this time or before this time it should not take any time longer than this all right so let's move on to the question we are they are saying that martin has created a database to store rental details for the company customer details are stored in the contact table okay there's a table called contact and task db1 open the thr2000 database open the contact table so let's do that so in the data files we have the thr2000 what i would suggest is you copy this and paste it in one of the folders so you yeah, i have created a folder here say in 2016 database at excel so I'll be pasting this uh, file in here so that I don't make any changes to the original file. So I open this database with Microsoft Access software. So I'm having the 2019 version. Uh, versions from 2010 onwards is sufficient to do the options that they're asking for in the question. So whenever you get the security warning here, some active contents has been disabled, click for more details. You can enable them using this button. So you can just click on it. So all of this will get activated. All right. So they are asking us to open the contact table. So I'll double click on this contact table and voila, we have this details here. Okay. So we are having the month, date and the year from the date format. That is the format that you will be getting uh, in your system date. If it was date, month and year here in the system date, it will be appearing accordingly. Okay. So I can just double click and make sure that everything in this, in each of this column is visible. So I don't miss out anything. Yeah, that would do. Then you can see in this, we have all the records visible. Now let's we'll go back to the question and see what they are asking for. The structure of the contact table okay all of the fields we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten fields 
where all of them have the text data type only the last field is having the date and time so we'll go and check with that i will go to the design view go to the view tab in the home uh, sorry in the home tab i'll go to the design view yes i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the last one is date and time and all the others will be short text in 2019 version in 2016 and above versions we have the short text format not the text format so it's okay to uh, have short text because we are using the latest version of the ms office package now you can see here clearly that there is a key here which indicates that contact id is a primary key okay so contact id is a primary key don't worry about these descriptions anyway um, so we can go back to the data sheet view and go to the question and see what we have to do it says open a new document using word processing software set the orientation to landscape enter task db1 your name candidate number center number in the footer of the document so we shall open a word processing software Open. Okay, I'm going in for a new blank document. All right. So the first thing that we have to do when we take this word processing software, this is the uh, page that we are going to take the print in. So usually it is going to be in A4 size. So we'll set the size of the page that is we go to the layout tab in that size in the page group to a4 and we set the orientation to landscape i would recommend that we keep the margin in normal because usually it supports any printer in which you keep it in the normal format you can reduce the zoom in option to make sure that everything is visible to you yeah that would do fine and they are asking us to input the task db1 your name candidate number and the center number in the footer of the document so let's use some fake candidate number and center number you go to the insert tab in the insert tab you have the footer here so in the footer you can click on the footer and go to edit footer when you go to edit footer you will have the tab settings already done here but if you don't like it it's already very you can go to the home tab click on this icon here which will show your dialog box here in that you will have the buttons called tabs here you can clear all the tabs that is already available and you can set the tab according to your preference so we are starting at one centimeter let me zoom in a bit okay this is much better so i can see the numbers very clearly i'll just zoom in in a bit so that i can go to the paragraph tab and tabs again and then clear all and then I would say start at okay then you go to the tab we'll start at one so I've given the measurements in centimeters already so I set that and then that would be the place where you are going to type your task db1 then you can start your name at round at five centimeters set that so we have another tab at five centimeters in 14 centimeters we can write the candidate number and in 20 centimeters we can write the center number so let me set that now we have set all the tabs so you can see the tabs appearing here
so now you can use the tab key in your keyboard and type task db1 task db1 task db1 and when you press the tab key again you will go to the fifth centimeter where you can type your name Let's tap again your candidate number is 72345 and your center number 54321 so that is going to be my footer all right so after that save the word processing document as task db1 save it as task db1 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the design tab close the header and the footer so make sure everything is available here and go to file and save as you go and browse your desktop this is the folder that i'm using 2016 database at excel double click so you can save it as task db1 save all right so make sure you use the uppercase letters when you're saving the document and sentence case for task when you're writing it in your footer okay as as they say it so when you come here they say martin wants to add a new record customer to the contact table so this is the record that they ask you to enter so we have to make sure that our data has no errors or our data has no spelling mistakes so i recommend that you use copy paste option in this case to copy the details and paste it in your database software so when you need to add a new row i just have to click on the new row and then start adding this item so i'll just select this copy or control c you can use and i will paste control v will paste the document come back even if it is a small word make sure that you copy it and paste it here mail they are using f and m so i will just use m here as they say it and the date too they have said 11th march in 1987 so we have used a date chooser here 11th march we can choose and then we can change the year here 1987 that's it so we have added the record here all this record so that part is done sort the contact table in ascending order of last name so we have to sort it at the, according to the ascending order of the last name so you come to the last name here click and sort a to z so you can see a b c d e so our details that I have entered here, JSA32, Mr. James Sandalwood, this detail will be in like two before the last position. All right. So save the contact table, copy and paste the sorted contact table into task DB1. Make sure all the data is displayed in one on one side of A4 and it's easy to read. So it's in landscape, it should be easy to do so what i do is i will come here to this corner and click once which is going to copy all the fields in my database then i will use ctrl c to copy this i come to my file here ctrl v to paste so this is going to paste all my 
details here now what i'm going to do is when i click in the middle of this click in the middle of this it is going to show the table options here so i can adjust this according to my need so it will fit into this page so i have to make sure that everything is clear and everything is visible here so the table is sorted from the last name you can see starting with a finishing with s yes so this is sorted and fine so this is how you do that then resave task db1 so i can come back here and click on this button to resave it yes print task db1 so later you will be able to print it so we will just look at the print preview to make sure that everything is visible in this yes i have my last record as smile yes and everything is visible even my footer is all right then it's good to go i just have to use the print button here to print my document all right let's go down we have got four marks already task db2 open a new document using word processing software enter task db2 your name candidate number center number in the footer of the document save the word word processed document as task db2 so this task is over now i'm going to close this what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my folder that is the database one i'm going to control c copy and control v paste this and i'm going to name it as task db2 and this is exact this is the exact copy of task db1 so i'm going to open this and i'm going to delete whatever is inside this I'll say control a and delete so it's going to delete everything and i have to make sure i change my footer i will double click here and change it to task db2 and close this so that's it so i don't have to create a new one and go through the tab settings all, all over again what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take a copy of it and cha change the task db1 to task db2 all right so let's go and see what we have to do here martin wants a list of customers who were born before may 1st in 1951 so list of customers who were born before may 1st 1921 so it should be a date which is less than may 15 may 1951 so he wants all the fields displayed create a query search on the contact table to find the information save the query as db2a all right so we will go back to this and when we are creating a query we go to create tab we go to query design this is the place where you add the table i need only the contact table for now so i will close this so he wants all these uh, displayed when i want all these fields to be displayed what i do is i will double click on the table here then i drag this and drop it in the first field column and all the fields will be shown here all right so he wants to see the people you can see the birth date in the contact you can see birth date his birthday should be before may 1st 1951 so i'm going to use the criteria option i'm going to say less than i'm going to just tell make sure you can see it clearly less than when i'm writing a date in my query i have to use the hashtag and my date format is month date and year so the month may is the fifth month so less than the fifth month first of 1950 one i think that is exactly 1951 may 1st 
and you finish the date with the hashtag again so this is my criteria here i have to write it here near the criteria option under the birth date column so i will go to the design tab here i will run the code and see to make sure that everything is visible and you can see it's 1938 1936 44 31 41 33 34 everyone is before 1951 fine then display the results of quick query search. I have to save this as task db2a. db2a, then I will go here, this query. It says query 1 here. I have to change it to db2a. db2a without any space. So you can see your query is being uh, added here in the narration. Uh, and here you can see the name of the query displayed so then what we need to do is copy and paste the result of your sheet in task db2a resave task db2a do not print at this stage so i will just click here Control c to copy and i'll come back here to task db2 as use Control v to paste it and make sure the table is big enough yes it's clear yeah and all the years are displayed here okay I will resave it I'll go back to the task we are not printing at this stage open the cottage table now I will close this database we have the contact table open I will open the cottage table double click and open you can see date here you can just make sure everything is visible before you do anything all right so martin wants a list of cottages with four bedrooms and a star rating greater than three we need four bedrooms and star rating greater than three the list should show only the fields cottage name sleep starring and daily rate so cottage name sleep starring daily rate cottage name sleep starring daily rate everything is in the cottage table so we need to create the query for cottage table so i'll go to create query design and add the cottage table we'll see what are the fields we need again cottage name sleep starring daily rate cottage name double click sleeps double click starring double click daily rate double click so those are the things which we display in our query and what they need list of cottages with four bedrooms so bedrooms we have not included here but we have to use it because the query says so i will use the bedroom column but i will not show it in my output so i will take this show button or show off all right so it should be equal to four four bedrooms we need four bedrooms and star rating greater than three so star rating greater than three so i'm going to write this in the same line of the criteria because they are using the word and here if they have used the word or here i will be writing it in the or section because they used and i'm writing both in the same line all right then we'll run the query and see if we are getting all the details correctly i will go to the design view and yes i have one two three four five five uh star rank is four five four five four everything here sleep nine eight eight nine eight yes i think it's all four bedroom uh options now we have to save this as task sorry as db2b so we'll go to save option here db2b say okay now you can see 
it has been saved here okay then display the results of the query search copy and paste the result of your query search in task db2 b db2 make sure all the results in the task are visible all right so we will copy the details that we have here i will just copy I will control c and paste it like i'll use two space using the enter key i paste it here i have enough and more space here yeah that would be and resave you can use control s or you can click on this button seven marks print this task so in one a4 sheet we are able to print this no problem and we are going to task db3 new word document task db3 or name candidate number we are going to do the same thing now we are going to just change the footer change the name of the file so what i'm going to do this time is i'm not going to use copy paste like that i know this task is already saved task db2 is already saved i'm going to save this file as i go to file save as i say task db3 now this is task db3 now you can see the name has changed as task db3 here and i can delete all this stuff of control a delete and double click here and change this to 3 all right then we'll come to this and see save the word processing document as this all right the database has three linked tables the database has three linked tables the contact table is linked to the rental table the cottage table is linked to the rental table display the relationship between the tables make sure all the field names are displayed take a screenshot of the relationship now how are we going to open the relationship i will right click close all of these for now i don't need them i will do the changes yes all right i will go to database tools and here we have the relationship icon so okay make sure all the fields are visible here i have the primary keys shown here and the relationship type that is one to many relationship type is shown here so what we need to do is we need to take a screenshot of this i'll use the print screen option and i will paste it in my document here yes now what i'm going to do is i'm going to crop this file i go to format click on the picture go to format crop and i will only crop the area which is required click on crop again and then you can resize this so that it will be much more clear when we take a print of it all right then take a screenshot paste the screenshot on this we have done that resave task so i have saved it okay in the document task db3 identify the primary key in one of the relationships so in this you can identify the relationship that is roman number one a task db3 so you can say click here you can come down with the cursor you can define your numbering style here so the first one i can go to define multi-level first one is just one second level is roman number one okay fine so i will say okay for that number one i use a space enter tab 
Roman number one. All right. In the document task, we will identify the primary key of one of the relationships. So here, for the contact, you can clearly see the primary key here. Contact ID. Okay. Contact ID in the contact table. Simple as that. Then it says in document task, we will explain why a one to many relationship is used between the cottage and the rental tables. You can say there each cottage, we are talking about these two tables, each cottage will be unique because the code is there. And you can say each cottage will be used for many rentals. right and you can resave it resave db3 do not print still we are not going to print it martin wants a list of customers who have rented cottages with a rent date rental date in july 2016 so all the rental date should be in july 2016 the list should show only the fields cottage name, rental date, last name, first name, mobile number, rental period and daily rate. So we have a lot of fields to display here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check here in this. The first name, last name is found in the contact. It is rental date is found in the rental table and uh, daily rate. Daily rate is found in the cottage table. So all three tables should be combined together to form this query. So I will close this relationship. I will go to create query design. In this I will be adding all three of these tables. Alright. Make sure everything is visible. Yeah. So we will see what are the fields we need. Cottage name, rental date. Cottage name, rental date. If you have in this order, it will be much better. Last name, first name, mobile number. So last name, first name, mobile number. Rental period, daily rate. Rental period. And daily rate yes. so you can see we are using the cottage rental and the contact table all three tables are used you can see from here so those will be the fields that we will be displaying in our final result all right so let's go back to the question be sorted in ascending order of rental date within the ascending order of cottage name so you first use the cottage names ascending order uh, and then the rental date Cottage name, ascending order, then the rental date, ascending order. All right. Create a query to search the find information link. Okay, Martin wants a list of customers who have a cottage, rented cottage with a rental date in July 2016. So, my rental date here should be in between the 1st and the 31st of July. So, I'll say it's greater than or equal to the date. First of July, it is seventh month, first two thousand sixteen, and 
less than or equal to seventh month thirty first two thousand and sixteen. And uh, let me, yeah, so this is the criteria that should be written. Whenever you are writing the date, you make sure that you use the hashtag between them on either side of them. Then I'll run this query and see. You can see all these bookings were done in 2016 and 7th month, so no other days. So, I think our uh, this is sorted in cottage name starting with A, B, and the rental date starting with 17, 3 within this range. Okay. So, save the query as DB 3B. So I'll save it as DB. 3b db 3b that is more like it so you have three queries here done display the query search design view make sure all the required information is readable take a screenshot of the design view and paste it in task db3 all right so i think this we have to go to the next page control enter would go to a page break there now i'm going to take a screenshot of the design we will go to the design view of this this is the query here db3b i go to the design view and i'll make sure everything is visible the criteria this 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 everything is visible and I'll take a screenshot with print screen option. I'll paste it in my document. As I did earlier, I can use the format to copy or crop this criterion. This is what they need. Make it a little bit oops larger. Okay, make sure this criterion is clear. And now we are to print this form. All right, now we can print this like earlier. We can print this, and we are going to task DB4. Martin wants a database report using the result of the query search carried out in part b that is task db3 so you want to create a report i will close this db3b yeah create a database report the database report must have a suitable title show only the fields cottage name rental date last name mobile number and daily date Alright, so to create a report, I will go to create, go to report wizard, and task db3b. This is the query that I'm going to use the report for. Last name, mobile number and daily rate so these are the things i need in my report so i go next let's see what are the things they need column headings are easy to understand database reports fits into one a4 side of landscape the database report is fit for purpose okay, we need to change the settings to landscape and suitable title we need to have all right, so I can go. I'm not having any grouping options here. So next, no. We don't need any ascending or descending orders. Portrait, landscape, orientation is going to be 
landscape your next uh, suitable title for the report we can have uh, I can change it to uh, rentals in July 2016 okay I will modify this I will say yes let's have a look at the report that we are having Okay, and you have a large space here between the cottage name and the daily rate. So I think I'd better, and it's coming for two pages. Right, so let's adjust this so that we can get this for the print review. So this is all right. The rent date, last name and mobile number are coming in a different column. So I will just take them to this column here so that they will be in the same line. So which is going to save a lot of space there. So I will drag this a little bit up. Yeah. We saw the cottage name is a little bit too large having a large gap here so I will just move this a bit inside I can move the daily rate daily rate is also going to be a small value so I will reduce the size a bit the rental date is going to come somewhere here Just have to make sure everything is clear. Last name, this much space would be enough, I believe. So if it is not enough, we can always change it. And mobile number. Yeah, that would do. So we'll just go back to the report view and see if everything is oh, all right. Yes, and we have only one page, page one of one. So everything is falls falling in one page. This looks much better now. Everything is clear. All the data are visible. Then the heading size is to understand database report is for for size fit for the purpose. Enter task DB four. Your name, candidate number in the center number of the footer. Task DB four. Your name, candidate number, center number. Okay. So in the footer of this, so I will go back to the design view. In the footer page footer, you can see I will take a little extra space in the footer to type in these digits. I will use the label option here. Escape. Date number one two three four five. That was my candidate number. I got it as new number, and I have the center number five five three two one. Okay, so that is done there. This is how you use the footer. You are using the label option here. Go back to the report view and you can check the footer here. You can see your stuff footer will be here. Still one page. No problem. Print the database report. So when you are going to print it, you can go to the print preview here. And you can just see, take a look at this. Make sure everything is visible in the print. Then use the printer. You can see A4, you have to adjust the size to A4. Yeah, landscape, and then you can click on print. Fine, the total activity 26 marks. 
and we have to finish it under 45 minutes with the explanation we have almost finished it on time okay next activity is a presentation one so that will be the end of database question in 2016 so i hope everything is clear in this video if there's any clarification you can always comment below thank you and have a nice day